question is likely in the next few days or hours. Naomi Ruckham, CBS News. 517 now, 41 degrees, all is calm right now, but this weekend was a different story. Yeah, our own problem. Yeah. Let's get straight to Storm Center 7 meteorologist, Kirsty Zonti. Good morning, that's right. So of course we are talking about the two tornadoes that sat down in Miami County. Well, more on that, but outside of those tornadoes, we also dealt with really strong wind gusts. The cold front that came through Saturday and brought with it, it was able to pull down a line of some strong thunderstorms and rain showers, and it pulled those strong winds down to the surface. So we actually had at Wright Patterson Air Force Base a wind gust of 83 miles per hour reported. Wilmington picked up a mile per hour gust around 60. You can see mid 50s for Jamestown. Springfield, 50 mile per hour wind gusts there, as well as the Dayton area. So this was just an impressive wind field in general with this system. And remember, we started to see the rain Friday, and it really did not end until late Saturday. The good news is as we head through the week here, we are not expecting winds to get that strong. We will have to watch Friday into Saturday, though. A system that comes through at the end of the week could, again, maybe give us some wind gusts over 40 miles per hour. But outside of that, it is just going to be a little breezy and blustery on Wednesday and Thursday. The this morning, you can see in downtown Troy, the flag not blowing in the distance, and that is good news. It is calm and quiet this morning. We're at 41 degrees right now. Winds are out of the south-southwest, and we do hold on to that light breeze here this morning, maybe even a little bit of light drizzle in the far northeastern Miami Valley, but other than that, everyone is quiet, and we do get to stay dry through the day today. Big picture, not much to track here, so even that chance for drizzle, quite small. We head on in through the afternoon, live out through Shepard Radar. We're not going to have to worry about any rain as we go through the day today. The good news is even though it will be kind of cloudy in spots to start this morning, we actually will see as we progress through the afternoon a little bit of late day sunshine trying to sneak out. So that's kind of nice here after a very active weekend to get back to some dry time for the beginning of this week. It's 39 degrees if you're heading off the door in Sydney, 42 in Xenia, 39 degrees in Greenville. Our after school forecast does take everyone once again well above normal. We'll hit 49 in Eaton, 47 in Urbana, and 50 degrees in Kettering. Tonight Tonight, everyone dips down into the upper 30s, so we'll have those skies clearing out a little bit for us, helping us to get a little cooler as you're heading out the door tomorrow. We're looking at future cast for Tuesday. You can see mainly the chance here is going to be across the southeastern Miami Valley for a straight passing rain shower. Most of us are just going to see an increase in cloud cover as we will have a storm system off to our south pushing through. So we're really just going to get the clouds from that system. We will get the warmer air as well, though. Temperatures will be well into the 50s, almost near 60 degrees as we head through your day on Tuesday. And when it comes to our next chance for possibly some winter weather, we're going to be watching the end of this week. A complex storm system is going to bring a little more than just rain to the Miami Valley. It might be a setup where we see it start off as some snow showers, as that area of low pressure looks north, it'll bring the warm air with it. So we'll have the potential to transition over to rain for pretty much everyone and then maybe end with some snow flurries as we head into our Saturday afternoon. So watching the end of the week, if you're getting sick of this spring-like weather, it looks like we may be transitioning back to a winter-like setup. We bring you weather and traffic every 10 minutes. Let's get a check on the roads now with Sergeant Mark. Good morning, Sarge. And good morning to you, Kirsty. Our Monday morning drive actually started out very good. We had a chance to check in with Traffic Tracker on I-675. They just actually turned off of Interstate 73 Huber Heights. And right now in the Fairborn area, checking driving conditions on 675. We're in good shape here. I'm Sergeant Mark Ballin, WHIO Triple Team Traffic. Sergeant, thank you. 520 now, 41 degrees. The dog owner is recovering this morning after his own pet attacked him. The next possible step for the Green County Animal Control Center. A major fire destroys at least eight buildings where crews believe the fire started before jumping to the other buildings. Right when you wake up, prepare for the day ahead with your live Storm Center 7 forecast from meteorologist Kirsty Santini. Weekday mornings starting at 425 a.m.